Hello guys, me Carson, this is Cap Carnafid, and welcome to another edition of iRacing Career Mouse. So, uh, we're here at Charlotte Motor Speedway to do a Gen 6 test, which is one of the older bodies in the NASCAR Cup Series. So, I was supposed to do it at the Roval portion of the track, but unfortunately, Pat, it, uh, sorry, I can't speak today. I failed tech inspection, so I, I, I'm not a setup expert to find a way to pass inspection, but it just said it right there. So instead, I have to do it at the oval, so this isn't bad, so I can just uh, get my feet wet, go cold turkey trying to figure out this car setup. Like, in this moment right here, I get really loose, I get on the apron. Like, that's the hard part about adjusting to the Gen 6 car compared to the gen next gen car. Because you never know when the car will get really loose on you and all of a sudden you can't keep it straight. So, but lucky for me, I did not spin out at times or get into a spin out, but yeah. My lap times were kind of around 32 to 33 seconds. Uh, yeah, maybe the car was set up for somebody that can handle a car like that, like Craig Biffler or Kyle Larson, perhaps. But, yeah, I'm a kind of a driver that wants to keep it tight all around. So, I mean, what more can you ask for in eye racing? Like, you have to figure it out on your own and go on YouTube to find the magic setup for anything you can want out of it. So, yeah. Yeah, that's the second time again that my car did that. Just get really loose in, get into the apron, and then try to straighten it out. You know, and yeah. Like it, in turns three and four, it's not a concern, but turns one and two. Oh my god, I just cannot hold my line. You know? And fortunately enough, it hasn't affected my tire wear, so I'm just hanging on for dear life, you know? And, and my subscription ends on August 10th, 2024, so four months from now will be like December 10th. So probably, I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to do iRacing then. Maybe I'll extend it, depending on my schedule to the Philippines this winter. So we'll see how that goes. And maybe take a break from iRacing. I don't know. I may not get that $10 iRacing. Uh, What's that called? Participation points that you usually get for each of the 12 week seasons. So, yeah, had it before, but yeah, it used to work for me last year, but this year is just crap and terrible quality. Like, the race servers <laughs> don't want or cooperate with me so well, so I have to choose my races carefully, so. There you have it, so let me get up a corner at five. Hope you all have a great day and peace out.
So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona Night 5. You all have a great day, and peace out.